Talking about it all week, here we are with Storm Center Maine's coast, seeing high tides and winds, making for treacherous conditions both on land and at sea. We want to check back in with New Center Maine's Chris Costa. He is in Cape Elizabeth, where almost 12 hours ago now there was an emergency right there in Cape Elizabeth. Hi, Chris. Hi, Brian and Amanda, that's right. We've been telling you all morning about this uh, fishing vessels, 50-foot fishing vessel that, that washed up on the beach. We're going to get to that in a minute. What's important to focus on right now as we get even closer to that noon high tide, look at the splash over from these waves as it comes all the way up uh, into this area of seagrass. And Scout, if you look off in the distance at those rocks, you can really see the power of the waves as they splash up against them. Uh, people who live in this area we've been talking to, and they say, this is unusual. It is not normal to see waves of this size and this power, specifically because this is a cove. Uh, and so another person that we uh, spoke to who lives right up over there said there, there are waves coming in in both directions, also uh, abnormal because of the power of this. So now I want to turn over to the boat that we've been telling you about all morning. Uh, that is the Tower Lin 2. It is a 50-foot fishing vessel. Four crew members that were on board rescued by uh, Cape Elizabeth's Fire Department around 1.30 in the morning. No injuries reported. This high tide uh, that they're working that is happening right now uh, it is it is strong it's nasty it's gnarly and and the the fire department that I spoke with a moment ago said that we don't think we're gonna be able to salvage this boat at least right now they may have to wait for a full other high tide cycle what we're noticing also about this boat it's not being rocked quite as much as it was in previous uh, times that we've spoken to you here on TV that indicates to me that, that boat is taking on water we heard other people say that they could see some holes in the hull of the boat uh, and that would be uh, indicative of that as well. Um, the Coast Guard still trying to figure out uh, exactly what was happening that that crew was out uh, in the middle of the night but one of the people who I talked to who, who spoke with the owner he repairs this boat he said they were coming in from a trip still waiting to get that officially confirmed. A, a big point of emphasis from the Coast Guard not a lot of people doing recreational boating uh, at this time of year but that's why they ask you during the summer put a sticker that identifies your watercraft on something like a recreational kayak or a canoe like this one over here they want you to put a sticker on it so that if it gets blown out to sea uh, something that a sticker that's got your um, name phone number a way to reach you because if they find this blowing around in the ocean they're going to start treating it like it's a search now no other indications of that at this time that there's anybody else that's been going out that they're searching for no indications of that but that's the message that they give you frequently over the summer uh, the waves here, very, very strong. And Scout, I don't know if you're able to show those, but from what I can tell, they're probably about 10 feet. Uh, they're at least a six foot tall plus. Um, very, very strong and coming in very, very choppy. The wind is really uh, kind of one of the main factors here right now. Brian and Amanda, we'll send it back to you. All right, Chris Costa in Cape Elizabeth where the scene just keeps getting worse there for that fishing vessel. All right, Chris, thank you.